find Laplace transform of sin h3t into cos square t. In order to evaluate Laplace transform of this expression, let us make use of first shifting property. We have Laplace transform of cos square t already obtained as half times 1 by s plus s by s square plus 2 square. We also know that sin hx can be written as e raised to x minus e raised to negative x upon 2. Therefore, sin h3t can be written as e raised to 3t minus e raised to negative 3t upon 2. If we wish to apply shifting theorem, we have e raised to 3t multiplied to cos square t to which we have to apply Laplace transform. 1 by 2 can be taken outside Laplace transform using linearity property. Again, the second term will be minus e raised to 3t multiplied to cos square t where minus 1 by 2 can be taken outside Laplace transform again using linearity property. By shifting property, we know that since we have the answer for Laplace transform of cos square t already obtained here, in order to obtain Laplace transform of e raised to 3t cos square t, we have to just replace every s by s minus a where a equals 3. In order to obtain this Laplace transform, that is Laplace transform of e raised to negative 3t cos square t is obtained by just replacing every s using s minus a but here a equals negative 3. Thus we obtain this step 1 by 4 times 1 by s minus 3 plus s minus 3 upon s minus 3 the whole square plus 4 minus 1 by 4 times 1 by s plus 3 plus s plus 3 upon s plus 3 the whole square plus 4. Here we can group 1 by 4 times 1 by s minus 3 and negative 1 by 4 times 1 by s plus 3. We have 1 by 4 taken common outside and 1 by s minus 3 plus negative 1 into 1 by s plus 3 written here. We can also group these two terms from where again we can take 1 by 4 outside and this is the step after grouping. Here we have s minus 3 and s plus 3. After taking LCM in the numerator we obtain 6 and in the denominator we have 4. When we have 6 by 4 after cancelling we obtain 3 by 2 because 2 is a common factor for 6 and 4. And in the denominator we have after taking LCM s minus 3 into s plus 3 as the denominator which can be written as s square minus 9 because a plus b into a minus b can be written as a square minus b square. Similarly, here we take LCM and in the denominator again you can see terms of the form a plus b into a minus b. Take a equals s square plus 13 and b equals 6s. Therefore, you have these two factors becoming a plus b and a minus b which can be written as a square minus b square after we take LCM. After usual simplification, you obtain the final answer as 3 by 2 times 1 by s square minus 9 plus s square minus 13 upon s raised to 4 minus 10 s square plus 169.